All right, look at that. We are live. All right, hello Maker Fair 2018. Welcome to New York. Woo! All right. So um, here we are at the Make Member uh, stage. We will generously call it. Um, and my name is Sandy Roberts, and I'm here to talk about Maker Camp. So. If you know children, have children, just think that children are cool and should get to learn to be makers, you should come on over here and talk. All right, so I was one of the earliest Maker Camp affiliates. It is a wonderful program run by Make Media. Um, every year they put together fantastic projects for kids from out there on the web. You can do it completely yourself online if you are so inclined, but more and more each year, libraries, schools, rec departments are all putting together their own maker camps and hosting them at their locations so that we can all come together as a community and make wonderful things. Maker camp is the perfect way to open the door to making uh, for kids that maybe aren't sure that that's something that they want to do. All right, so who can be a maker camp coordinator? Who's got an idea? Who would be the perfect maker camp coordinator? What do you think? Anyone creative is the right answer, yes! You can be a Maker Camp coordinator. You can be a Maker Camp coordinator. You can be a Maker Camp coordinator. Everybody can. And that's the beauty of it, because whatever you love, whatever your passion is, whatever your experience is, whatever your skills are, they are the right thing to use to start your Maker Camp. And that's kind of my tip number one from seven years of Maker Camp, and that is find your inner maker, find what you love, and let that be the basis of your maker camp. Sit down with your team and say, what are you guys trying to learn this year? What's something new that you want to know? What's hot? This year's superheroes were super hot, and uh, so that's what we used as the basis of our maker camp. I'm a, I've been reading comic books since I was your age, and I thought that that would be a fun thing for maker camp. If you are engaged with the concepts and the projects that you're using for maker camp, your kids will be engaged. If you are excited about what you're doing, you will pass that excitement on. And that is number one. You don't have to do 3D printing if you are not interested in 3D printing. It is not a requirement. If you don't like robots, I don't understand you and we can't be friends, but you can still host a maker camp. All right, so that is tip number one. All right, tip number two kind of goes with tip number one. If all the kids that you know love Fortnite, there is nothing wrong with planning a Fortnite themed maker camp. Okay, you can get creative with it. It doesn't mean just letting the kids sit in front of computers and play Fortnite for a whole week, okay? But, you know, do Fortnite inspired things. Make cardboard, you know, cannons. Um, have them come up with their own games. Do a cosplay day. You can take anything that your population of kids loves and make it into a maker camp. And that will make them feel even more empowered, make them feel more engaged with this is not a good happy mic. It wasn't a happy <laughs> mic yesterday either. So I'm sorry if I'm cutting out. All right. Number three. And I'm actually really glad that you're here, here Jill, because this is my third tip. You do not need to have a huge budget for a maker camp. You do not have to have $100,000 in a fancy maker space to have an amazing maker camp. Mike is going again. Anyway. You can do Maker Camp on a budget. And this wonderful woman just gave a talk on some great budget-friendly maker activities. Get online, get onto Pinterest, all right? Borrow, then borrow and steal. Make things out of junk, okay? You do and not. Dollar and dollar store, yes. There are so many resources out there that will help you find budget-friendly ways to host camp. Um, it does not have to be a $1,200 3D printer, though that is lovely to have as a resource. Um, this one's near and dear to my heart. Sorry, the mic is, I think I'm at the right angle again. Um, keep it campy. That's tip number four. Remember, this is summer. It is fun. Don't make the kids take more classes. Don't do it. They went to school all year. So, make it fun. Get them outside running around. Make it silly. Make cool camp t-shirts everybody signs. Make up a camp song. Make up a camp motto. Alright? This is summer camp and it should be fun every single day. Alright. Tip. <clears throat> Tip number three. Or five. I can count. <laughs> I teach math. Great. Um, right. Get outside. All right, we all love maker spaces, we love our libraries, we love our schools. 
The kids spend plenty of time inside. They don't need to be inside from Maker Camp. Take your drones outside, okay? Make rockets and shoot them off. Go run around. Give them half an hour and just let the brain relax. This is so important to keeping it campy. And you can plan nature-based outdoor activities as part of your camp. Look up Andy Goldsworthy, amazing nature-based artist. Take the kids outside and have them reproduce his, his works of art and make new ones. Um, last year for our superhero theme, I gave the kids pool noodles and uh, bricks and you know planks of wood and they had to make an obstacle course. And they, the two teams made obstacle courses and they swapped it. They got outside. So don't forget that there is oxygen and daylight outside and those are important things to kids' development. All right, number three. And this is probably the most important part about Maker Camp. You must be willing to fail. You must be willing to make mistakes in front of the kids, be honest about it, and move on. You have to model the creative spirit, the Maker Movement, every single day. Do not make projects that are step-by-step -step with nothing that they can add to it. You have to be willing to let them take control. You have to be willing to let them run the show. You have to be willing to make mistakes and let them make mistakes too. Because we learn from failing. We learn from our mistakes. That's the like whole point, right? So, when you're planning your maker camp, sometimes it's good to extend yourself and try something you aren't sure you're ready to do. That will give you the opportunity to model that for your campers. It feels scary, but it's a good thing. All right. I like to call it a, a typo here, failing forward is one of the terms I've heard used. I love it, right? You make a mistake and you just keep going. You don't fall backwards. Um, next one, share your awesomeness. And this is something that Make is really big about and I, I love to do too. I know some of us feel like social media is just uh, terrifying. Okay, social media, Twitter, it's like I don't have the time for Twitter. I don't have the time for Instagram. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, you can do this, it's not that scary, it's just talking to people on the internet. But sharing your pictures, sharing your ideas, sharing your projects on things like Makershare, okay? Free platform to share your project. Help others, okay? Be, be part of that Maker Camp community. It is an active and vibrant community online and you wanna be a part of it. It's a great place to go for ideas and support. It's a great place to go when camp didn't go so great that day. Um, and it's a great way to help build Maker Camp for the future and share the idea with others. So don't forget to share. I want to see all of you liking me on Twitter so we can be buddies. All right, those are the seven major tips. Beyond that, I will say this. Stay in touch, take my card, take my uh, handout, um, email me. I am very, very quick to email back. I am happy to answer questions. I will talk to you half the day on Twitter and pretend that my boss doesn't notice. Um, so please do get in touch with me. My name again is Sandy Roberts. My business is Kaleidoscope in Richmond. Um, don't forget to register your camp as an affiliate. You never know if they're gonna send you a box of swag. It's nice to get the box of swag. And even if you don't, they send you free digital books, send you all kinds of materials and uh, support materials. So definitely register as an affiliate. This brings me to one more very important point that people get worried about. Maker Camp tends not to put out their projects until June or July. You do not have to do their projects. Just because you're an affiliate, just because you're a Maker Camper does not mean you have to wait for them. Don't wait for them. Do your own thing. But still register in, as an affiliate, okay? Um, some really great resources to check out. Kathy Nursery uh, has a great line of books by Make. Uh, they're available right there. They have great simple projects on edible inventions, on paper stuff. Again, inexpensive, easy to do, teaching great concepts. Uh, Colleen Graves, the uh, evil book of Makey Makey projects and other great stuff like that. She has a wonderful book on makerspace projects. Great place to start. Um, and I'm gonna plug, okay? I have a book coming out with McGraw Hill next year on Maker Camp projects. Please look for it next year at Maker Fair. That said, any questions? Questions, ideas, who wants the microphone? Who wants to talk? I know you do. I see you want to talk. <laughs> no? <laughs> All right, well I am here. I'm here to answer any questions, to share my information. Thank you guys for coming and listening to me being silly. I really appreciate it. <laughs>
Go host Maker Camp. <laughs>